everybody. Welcome to The Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica. And today's video is going to be all about our mealtime Monday routine or kind of like how we do it. So first, before I show you everything that we do and tell you about it, I want to tell you guys that we've been doing mealtime Monday on and off since Emily was in kindergarten. And it really started... Um, so her birthday is in July and it started when we started back to school and kindergarten and it really was just us setting a day every week that she would start doing thank you cards for her birthday gifts. And it was so simple. I would use a highlighter and I would write like, um, I would get a thank you card in the front would say thank you. And so inside with a highlighter, I would say like for the Barbie and she would just trace it. It was super, super simple. I would address the card. I'd put it in the envelope. She'd get to, you know, put stickers all over it. But I did a big portion of it. And it was just an intentional time for us to sit down and for her to start with like one or two. It took us like a month to get them all done, but it wasn't a big deal. The important part to me was that she was sending thank you cards and thanking people. And that slowly just became our thing. And we really enjoyed it. And it started morphing into me and her sitting down together and both sending cards to people who had birthdays coming up or, um, you know, just a quick little note or, uh, you know, holidays like Valentine's or Christmas cards. And it just slowly kept kind of becoming our thing. And so it's such a great way for us to connect with people, um, send, you know, acts of kindness to people and to like sneak in some writing practice and especially that real world um, writing practice that we just kept doing it. And over the years, this is, you know, now our third year doing it, it has just slowly morphed into something a little bit bigger. So now our mail time Monday starts with us actually reading mail, which that can be anything that we've gotten from pen pals, from people writing back to us, or even our subscription letters. So whatever we've received in the last week, the first thing we do is we sit down and we read whatever letters we have. So we may have one or two subscription letters. We may not have any subscription letters. And it may be, like I said, pen pal letters. Um, sometimes we have no letters, but that's very rare that that happens. Luckily, most of the subscriptions mail a few days apart. Um, and so what I do is I check the mail and anything that we have, I just set it aside. I set it on top of our mail time um, bin, which I will show you in just a minute. And I keep everything together. So Monday rolls around and I grab the bin and I grab whatever letters are on top. And we sit down on the table and we just dive in. I keep a letter, like a little piece of paper. I can't show you because it has a lot of personal information on it. But I keep a piece of paper in the very top bin that has... Um, you know, all of our friends and family's birthdays, all of our friends and family's um, mailing addresses, and we just reference that. So we sit down and we will read through our letters that we have and we will talk about like, this is whose birthday is coming up the next couple weeks. These are the holidays that are coming up. And there's no pressure. She can just draw if she wants to just draw. She can write a message if she wants to write a message. There's no requirement on who she writes to or how many words she writes. It's just a time for us to sit down and enjoy it together. But I have noticed that just through us doing Mail Time Monday and having fun, we are learning a ton because our subscription letters, you know, cover geography and science and all kinds of things like that. And so we're learning as we're sitting down reading together. Uh, and then I'm just slowly teach things to her. So, so one day she was writing a letter and I just slowly said like, hey, you know, when you write a letter, you write dear so-and-so and then you put a comma, you know, and then I slowly taught her how to close the letter properly. And now she does everything herself. So she even goes as far as addressing the letters herself properly, which has just been really nice to see over the past three years, the transition from her tracing to you know, now she's writing full-blown letters and addressing envelopes properly. So that's kind of how we've gotten to where we are now. But just know that when we first started, it was super simple. It was just us trying to write thank you letters for our birthday. We also do Christmas. So a lot of this past month has been us writing, you know, thank you letters for Christmas, which we are super behind on. But that's just how it started. Super sweet and simple. It was nothing fancy. And it's grown. So over the three years that we've been doing it, it's you know, grown into something bigger. So don't think that if you want to start incorporating it, you have to have subscription letters coming in or you have to have all this stuff because you totally don't. You can just sit down with blank pieces of printer paper and pens, pencils, and markers or crayons or whatever your kids like 
and draw a picture and still have mealtime Monday together. Like it doesn't have to be fancy. Okay. So this is what I have. I keep this like giant section Sterilite container. Um, I think it actually only came with three sections and I bought two and like combined them into there is now five um, sections to it and within it I have things like stamps and washi tape. We have tons and tons of stickers like tons and tons of stickers and then I have some note cards and blank cards where she can draw her own cards and then in the very very top like I said I also like to keep um, a list of the people's birthdays and addresses I have some a uh, return address labels so we don't have to write our return address on all of them and then I also keep stamps so that I can put the stamp and immediately get it right in the mailbox because if I don't get it in the mailbox immediately chances are it's not actually going to go out. So having this little kind of like kit ready to go means I just grab it and that's it. That's all we have to do. So like I said, I keep our letters just on top of it. It sits just like this in my office. And when it is mail time Monday, I grab whatever letters are off the top, this bin, sit it down on the table and then just kind of open and spread everything out. And we just sit down and have a blast, which you are actually going to get to join us for that right now so we have two letters today for mail time monday one is from writings from the wild and the other is american heritage adventure so which would you like to read this one the american heritage or the writings from the wild mm, writings from the wild yeah that's kind of what i thought that's that's definitely got emily written all over it mm. wolves I love wolves. Hello. I've just settled down to soon take a nap. It is bell below freezing here in the northern lands of North America. Where do you think we're going? Are you ready to find out? All right. American Heritage. We are going to Denali National Park. Cool. Hello, my friends. I can hardly believe I'm really visiting Denali, the tall one, standing at 20,310 feet above sea level. Denali is North America's tallest peak and is magnificent to behold. All right, so are you ready to write some what mail now? So, yeah. Okay, so these are the things that we have coming up in the next few weeks. We have Nana's birthday, Uncle Jamie's birthday, and then we have Valentine's Day. So you don't have to write a card for them, but if you would like, those are the people that have birthdays and that is the holiday coming up. I'm gonna start with Valentine's Day. You're gonna do a Valentine's card, okay. I think I am just going to write a note to a friend. Um, yep. can you pass me the I sure cookies? will. Thanks, Mommy. Mm -hmm. Here you go. I'm gonna get my red and draw a big heart. Okay. Can you reach all the Sharpies? Yes, ma'am. Okay.
I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about our Mailtime Monday tradition and joining us just to kind of see a little sneak peek into what that looks like. And if you do anything similar to this in your homeschool, I would love to hear more about it in the comments down below. Or if you incorporate it after having learned about it or kind of seen how we do it here, please tag me so that I can see um, you and your kids enjoying the lost form of snail mail. I would absolutely love to see that.